In this tutorial, we're going to look at hatches. Um, so let's go ahead and create a curve and we'll make a shape. There's a bunch of different shapes you can make. You can make circles and different ways of making circles, arcs, ellipses, parabolas, um, etc. In this case, let's go ahead and make a um, polygon and different ways of making them. We'll use the first one, center radius. And I'll just go ahead and make a few of these. All right, and so if I want to make a hatch, I can actually fill these spaces with different patterns. There are two ways of doing it. If I select um, all the objects and type in hatch, it asks me for um, to use combined regions or um, to actually do all regions. In this case, I'm going to use the just the regions, and then you can click a point in the regions that you want to hatch. So if I want to hatch those uh, overlaps with one pattern, I can select those and then hit enter. It then will bring up the different hatch options. So there's all these different patterns you can create. You can actually um, create your own. But in this case, I'll just edit some of these. So we'll use this hatch number one here. You can then change the scale of it. So um, if it's going to be too dense, you could say, let's make 24. And you'll see it'll actually update the preview in real time, which is really nice. And then you can change the rotation. So if I want this at a little bit of an angle, I can change that to 45 and then say OK. Um, the other thing you can do if I uh, wanted to hatch everything is I can right click hatch and when you uh, type hatch without selecting objects it'll bring this option up for boundary yes or no. If I say no and then select the objects enter it'll actually hatch all of them so it'll find the outer boundary of everything and then you can apply a hatch to the entire geometry. Um, the nice thing about this if I go back to yes select my objects enter is that you can mix and combine hatches. So I could hatch that with one pattern and then I could do it again. And then let's hatch a different pattern on those two surfaces and say OK. And then you have these different hatches. These are grouped curves. So if I explode this, it'll actually explode the hatch into different lines. So if you want to then edit those um, by extending them or trimming them. So for example, if I want to extend you know these lines I can extend those into that hatch and you can edit them fully you could always select them again um, I'm gonna uh, select everything and then use control to deselect those but I can then group those back into a new group so when I select that that's a new group